Every day we make decisions. In the morning, when we get dressed, we look outside. If it is cold, we'll put on a jumper. Or else, if it's hot, we will just wear a t-shirt. Robots can do the same. To add a decision to our code, we use a conditional judgment block. Pause the video. Can you group the pictures together to complete the if, do, else statements? If something happens, do something, or else, do a different thing. Can you complete the three conditional sentences? Connect one picture from the if column to a picture in the do column and else column. The three sentences are, if you eat all your dinner, do have dessert, or else you can't have dessert. If it is cold outside, do put on a coat or else put on shorts. If you do all your homework, do play video games or else go straight to bed. This is a conditional statement in Abelix chart. The statements start with a condition, the if. The Krypton will then do an action under the why, yes, if the condition is met. If it is not met, the Krypton will do the action under n, no. For this example, if the touch sensor value is smaller than four, the robot will use a start motor, then move onto intersection tracing. If the touch sensor value is bigger than four, the robot will turn, then move onto intersection tracing. Using the different sensors for Krypton, grayscale, color, and ultrasonic, find the values to fill in the table. You may have filled this in during the sensor experiment. Do you still have your values? When coding your robot to stop on a color or at a certain distance, you may want to use a loop conditional judgment block. We'll use this when our robot needs to keep checking the sensor values, such as when the robot is moving but needs to stop on a certain color. The robot will keep checking if the condition has been met. To set up this part of the code, you first need a sensor block. It should be of the sensor you are using. This can be found in the sensor tab. Then add the loop judgment block from commands. The sensor, the correct sign, less than, more than, or equals, and the value for the color or distance you want the robot to do something at, such as stop. To make the robot stop on a color, such as red, let's say the value for red is 3,300 on a grayscale sensor. In the conditional judgment block, we choose grayscale variable. When this is less than 3,300, red, under the yes line of the block, this is where the conditional statement is true. If the grayscale sensor is on a color with a value less than 3,300, we use a start motor block to keep moving forward as the robot is not on red. Under the no line, this is where the conditional statement is false. In this case, if the grayscale sensor is on a color with a value higher than 3,300, the robot will stop. So we use a stop block or a start motor block with a speed of zero.